Hallelujah. Psalm 93 verse 1. We're still praying. Don't your neighbor say, I hope you love to pray. We don't pray because we, we, we think it might come to pass. We pray because we are sure it will come to pass. Hallelujah. In fact, it has been settled already. It's been sealed. It's been delivered. Hallelujah. We just want to activate it in the spirit. Amen. The Bible says the Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Bible says the Lord is clothed. He has guarded himself with strength. Surely the world is established. Can I have the NIV? Hallelujah. Surely the world is established. The Bible says the Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. It's just describing who your God is. Because some of us don't know who we serve. We don't know the kind of power that, we, that he carries. He's not an ordinary God. The Lord reigns. He's robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established and it cannot be moved. Verse 2, praise God. It says, your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says the sea, after all that has been said about God, the sea in his foolishness have lifted up, O oh Lord. The sea, the seas of situations have lifted up their voice against your, your people. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Hallelujah. But the Bible says it doesn't matter what has lifted up his voice. It doesn't matter what is making noise in your life. It doesn't, what, it doesn't matter what is working and what is not working. It doesn't matter the door that they've shut before you. It says mightier than the thunder of the great waters. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. Is the Lord on high. He is what? He is mighty. Somebody shout, God, my God is mighty. Open your mouth tonight and begin to issue that decree over your destiny. Over every mountain before you. You need to say, Lord, my God is mighty. Over every situation. Over every mountain. Over every hill. This is a land of possibility. You better open your mouth because as you speak, it shall be done. As you decree, it shall be done. My leg, a brother, Santaya Baba. Mightier than the breakers of the sea is the Lord Almighty. My leg, a brother, Santaya Baba. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. My this is a land of possibilities. When you speak, it will be done. When you decree, it will be established. If you speak to that mountain, it will be made low. If you speak to that valley, it will be filled. I don't know what you came here with tonight. Over your children, over the works of your hand, over your destiny. Mightier. Masataya Baba. Come on. Tell it to another level. Sakatoga Homer sent Terebobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob
Maraka Santaya Brogo Santaya Gagaga Brogo Santaya Baba Mightier over every mountain, over every valley situation, over every health situation. It doesn't matter the name that situation is called at the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. My leg and brother Santele Bobo 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 Santele Gabrahan Nanananabaha. My leg and brother Santele Boho. My leg and brother Santele Bobo. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lift your hands and declare after me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word that has gone ahead. Thank you, Father, because your word will not return to us void, but it will accomplish in us everything you've sent it to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because mightier are you over every situation that is contrary in my life, over my health, I decree that you are mightier. Over my peace, I decree that you are mightier. Over my joy, I decree that you are mightier. Over my peace, I decree you are mightier. Over my marriage, over my children, over my career, every area of my life, every mountain that the devil has set before me, I declare them, let them be made low in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because every, ma- every valley is filled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because I will not remain the same. I proclaim that you are mightier than that situation. It is done. It is sealed. It is delivered. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Can we celebrate Jesus in this house? Psalm 85 verse 8. We're going to be making some declarations concerning the 7DG. Hallelujah. How many are excited about that? Hallelujah. Psalm 85 verse 8. The Bible says, I will listen to what God, the Lord, will say. You know that this scripture has a lot of parts. The first part we're going to you know, pray about and we're going to decree. When you're praying about something in Koza, you're not thinking whether it's going to happen. This is a land of possibilities. Hallelujah. Because he mentioned it here, it is done already. He says, I will listen. Now we're going to decree that during the seven DG, God is going to release a grace in this atmosphere. The grace for people to listen. Because when you hear God, when God speaks, you must listen. When God speaks, you must listen. But what does the devil do? He brings distraction. That even while the word of God is going on, people are thinking of a thousand things outside this place. But the grace to listen, to hear God, even beyond what the preacher is saying, to tap into the inaudible, to to be able to touch the intangible, to be able to step out. The the Bible says when we are absent in the body, we are present with the Lord. To be able to absent your body. You are here, but you are not here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many are going to be here, but they will not be here? In the sense that they will be hooked up to the heavenly tune. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I will listen to what God will say. He, will, he promises peace. I speak in the name of Jesus. Over this next DG, we're starting on Saturday. God says, I should declare ahead of the time. He says, I'm promising peace. I'm not promising destruction. I'm not promising disaster. I'm not promising chaos. The Bible says, as you listen, God says, I'm releasing peace. I'm releasing peace. I'm releasing peace. That's what peace does not just mean that you will not have trouble in your mind. It means that nothing will be missing, nothing will be broken, nothing will be lacking. It means shalom. It means prosperity. It means wholeness. It means that more there will be more than enough. More than enough of joy. More than enough of peace. Am I prophesying to somebody's destiny? More, pro- more than enough of, of relationship. More than enough of opportunities. More than enough of God's presence. I don't know if you have not been feeling God's presence around you lately. God says, I'm promising more than enough. More than what you can use. Are you going to open your mouth tonight and say, Lord, I receive peace. Open your mouth and begin to release that word. The power of God over that word. and say, Take it to another level. The grace to listen. The grace to hear God. Malaba, Baba, 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 Baba
trabajar. He promises peace. Where there was chaos, let there be peace. Where there was confusion, let there be peace. Where there was not enough, let there be peace. More than enough of everything that you could ever imagine. I had not seen, he has not heard. He has not entered into the heart of any man. God says, I promise peace. My Lebraga Sataya Baba, lift your voice. My Laga Braga Dadabo Shataya Baba. in Jesus name we are prayed say father I receive peace undeniable peace I receive it in the name of Jesus everything that has to do with peace around my life I receive it in the name of Jesus peace on the on my marriage peace in my marriage peace on the job peace in my career peace on my find my finances peace over my children everywhere there was chaos I don't know what happened before now in your marriage maybe there was disaster whether there was quarreling arguments we speak peace in the name of Jesus over your children peace in the name of Jesus they are not doing well in school peace over your finances it was not enough peace in your accounts peace over your career peace the only way you will go after seven digits you will be forward you are moving forward with peace with peace bible says the lord will give us peace by all means oh receive peace by all means receive peace by all means my leg in Jesus name we have prayed Psalm 84 we are still praying don't you ever say I hope you love to pray because we pray a lot in Koza talk to somebody that's standing next to you and say I hope you love to pray because we pray a lot in Koza Psalm 87 this is not because we are we don't have anything else to do this is necessary most times before seven days of glory even a week before we always take time to pray every day. A week before. Hallelujah. So this is important. It's important, it's necessary, and we will do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Psalm 84. Psalm 87, sorry. Verse 3. The Bible says, from verse 1, it says, He has founded his city on the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the other dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. I prophesy to you that in the 12, seven days of glory, glorious things will be spoken concerning you. Open your mouth and begin to decree it over your life. And say, glorious things will be spoken concerning me, concerning my children during the seven days of glory. Glory. 